All right, guys. So we have literally had a run of some of the toughest weather to fish in in Florida that, that I've had to deal with in a while, aside from that once in a great period when it gets super cold, the wind has blown 15 to 25 mile an hour every day that I've had the opportunity to go fishing for the last three weeks. So I just want to take just a quick minute. I'm going to post a new video. We have caught a few fish. It hasn't been the end of the world bad, but it hasn't been really good either. So I don't have a lot of big fish. I don't have a whole lot to talk about other than what do you do when the area that you fish in experiences that, that weather that you just have a hard time dealing with. And, and for me, in Florida, it's that wind. Wind in most places is a good thing. It blows up on rocky banks. All the fish congregate right up on the bank. You run down the bank with you know, almost any kind of bait and catch them. But in Florida, it tends to stir up the water. And it creates silt and kind of muck and, and the pieces of the grass and they all blow. And I think that that tends to slow the fish down. It kind of gets in their gills, it clogs up, and, and they just don't like it. So in Florida, everywhere else in the country you go, when the wind's blowing to the east, you'll see everybody go to the bank to the east and fish right where the wind's blowing in because it congregates all the bait fish, all the plankton. Everything gets pushed to that area by the wind. In Florida, you'll see everybody do the opposite. When the wind's blowing, everybody will go to the west side to get out of the wind and try to find clear water and, and calmer conditions. So that's what we've had to deal with. Um, I have caught some fish. My favorite thing to do when the wind is blowing and it, it's rough and bad is to go and, and throw a spinnerbait or a crankbait. Um, right now, we're not catching a lot of fish on crankbaits, so I went with a spinnerbait. But... Spinnerbait, there, there's a few different types. Um, I'll do a video specifically on spinnerbaits, but I just wanted to kind of give an intro to this bunch of catches that I'm going to post here. And, and basically the title of this is what to do when the wind blows you out and how to catch a few fish. So again, we went out, we fished the edges of where the wind was blowing by. We tried to get where the wind was blowing, but the water was still clear. So hydrilla beds and things like that edges where the winds there's a point the winds blowing right across the point and we can sit kind of out of it and throw into the wind blowing in and uh, so that's what we tried to do and that's what the video is going to be again here in the next few weeks i'll do a video just about spinnerbaits some spinnerbait tips the different types of spinnerbaits i use but that's what we've had to resort to with the wind blowing like it is so hope you enjoy
broken off tie on another blade here but it's got one good fish to show for it at least so i don't know that's three pretty good ones we'd had if we'd been in a tournament Pike. I really wouldn't mind if you just shook it off. There you go. Just like that. The problem is you tore my skirt up a little bit. 